Hey folks, Gail and Brendan Swenson from uh, Seattle Coffee Gear here to talk about the Prima Donna from uh, DeLonghi. This machine does everything but, what, laundry? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's a, a very exceptional machine. Um, there are jokes, we saw some jokes online about it that it's kind of artificial coffee intelligence. Just the number of things <laughs> this thing can do. Smarter it, than me, Barbara. Yeah, it's totally, it's, it's hey. very, very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go do a quick review on it right now, let you guys know what we think. Mm -hmm. um, some of the first things we can talk about are maybe some of the DeLonghi super automatic uh, standards. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, just kind of your standard DeLonghi water tank here that holds 40 to 47? 40, uh, 47 ounces, yeah. 47 yep. fluid ounces. Which is nice. I like the forward, uh, you know, the front load water tank. That's nice. We have our bean hopper up here, which holds just about a half pound of coffee beans. Yep. Um, which is pretty standard for DeLonghi super automatics and just kind of super automatics in, in general. general. Yeah. yeah. We've got uh, the grinder adjustment right here. Little lever. Gives you a, a fineness to coarseness so you can adjust your grind. Again, and with any of these machines, you really don't want to use an oily bean. Stay away from that. Stick more to the medium roast. Mm -hmm. um, we have our standard uh, DeLonghi brew unit in here, which is right here. It's the brew unit or infuser. Um, just like I said, kind of the same thing you'll see on most DeLonghi super automatic mm -hmm. machines. Kind of the barista of this machine. A lot of the work happens right here. Yep, the, and those, uh, that comes out for washing, but you have to have the machine off and it'll be in the lower position to come out. Exactly. Well, wow, you got that open. Drag drawer. Yeah. Drip tray. Whole assembly comes out. Right here. Now, you know, the one thing I'd like to point out that I, I like about this machine is this is a stainless steel drip tray grate. And mm -hmm. this thing weighs probably three or four pounds. Mm -hmm. Very it's durable. Nice. Yep. Um, and as far as the inside insides go, we have two boilers on the inside. One uh, coffee boiler, thermoblock style, and one separate steam boiler. Um, and mm -hmm. those another thing that's very common on most DeLonghi super automatic machines. Yep. Um, and the, those are just kind of the standards. Um, but now on to the pros of this machine, and there are a lot of them. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> for me personally, I think that the uh, the <clears throat> programmability is very interesting and ha just has a wide variety of things you can do. Um, you know, you can have up to six profiles on here. Yeah, and you can program uh, the drinks into each profile. Exactly. It's very, very, very specific per each thing. So you have your own profile on there. You can customize the length of your shot, mm -hmm. the, the strength of your shot, um, the amount of milk you want in your cappuccino mm -hmm. as opposed to a different user. Um, you can get very, very specific with uh, what that user would or, want. Or if you're not all fussy, you can just push uh, any one of these in the without using the uh, profile and the default from DeLonghi will kick in. Exactly. So that's kind of nice too if you don't want to mess around with it. Exactly. Or well, you're just visiting. Yeah, exactly. The <laughs> other thing that's cool is you can have an auto start for each one of these profiles if you feel the need to do that. Um, you know, if you felt like having uh, this making you coffee at 6.30 every morning, um, you could have it doing that and then something different on the weekend. Um, it has that type of programmability, which is really nice. Um, we have two carafes here. Uh, we have one for milk with kind of this, this thermal jacket, um, and that all comes out, and you can put it in your, uh, in your fridge, yeah. keep it cool. This comes off right here for washing, and then yep. this comes out on the inside. It's kind of... There we go. For cleaning. Yep. Very easy. Exactly. That's nice. And then this this also, when you use this, uh, unlike the old DeLonghi machines where you had to hold the clean button down, this one auto cleans mm -hmm. right down into the drip tray. You don't have to think about it. Exactly. And something that is kind of unique is this, this adjustable froth. You know, something like froth, which is very subjective per user. It's nice to have, um, you know, something adjustable. So Less someone foam, else, more yeah. foam. Exactly. Yep. That's really nice. And then we have yeah. this hot chocolate carafe. This is a first in, a, in its field. Yeah, exactly. I've yeah. never seen anything like that. I, I mean, I think it's cool. Um, I think it's cool to separate something that can be as sugary mm -hmm. as hot chocolate mix from mm -hmm. something like milk. So you just take on this. Yeah, you just take this lid off and put your powder or whatever it is down in there with the milk. And when this is engaged with the machine, this little whirly gig, there's a magnet down here that goes around and it engages this and makes this go around and it heats the milk as well as uh, mixes in your chocolate. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I think, you know, if you've got kids, that's good for the kids. Or if you've got grandkids or nieces and nephews like me, 
<laughs> you always want to feed them more sugar, and, and they'll love that. <laughs> and send them home. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Just a field day for the parents. Hot water? Hot water spout right here. This comes out very easily when, yeah. uh, whenever you want to put one of the crafts in. Um, so that's very nice. And this hot water spout also acts as a panarello, and you can steam your milk with it. Um, one other thing that I really like about this is it's a very large display. Um, I, I feel like with the number of machines, you really kind of have to get down right at the perfect angle and get that nice reflection. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but with this machine, um, not only is the display very large, but when you have certain things misplaced, uh, let's say we open the door, um, it's very, very clear. Sometimes with, wrong. yeah, with, with sometimes with machines, the, the images they put up there when something is misplaced or it's not able to operate, yeah. it's very kind of convoluted Subjective. and complicated. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. But with this machine, it's very clear. I was seeing if there was a, something for the bean hopper lid. Nope. There isn't. You can have all these selection for how much ground coffee gets dosed out. So you have five different selections plus a pre infusion up here, which is the um, bypass doser where you can use one scoop of your pre ground coffee. Say you want decaf at night, right down in there. Mm -hmm. Cup warmer. Mm -hmm. What were some of the cons that you noticed, Gail? Um, the cons. I I, I like it that the icons are there. I wish I could put a name or a number or something to it so I don't have to remember a color. I'd mm -hmm. like to put my name on it. Um, I would say, I don't know if it's a con or not. The brew unit, uh, you can't get it out unless the machine is off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, boy, I, that's about all I can think of. Yeah, I, I, I don't have very many either. I think one thing that a lot of people um, you know, in this market of machine believe is that it, it will do a lot of the cleaning for you. And, and it will, Gail was mentioning the rinse cycles and things like that, and those are somewhat mandatory, in my opinion, when you have so much milk and sugar involved with your machine. Um, so, you know, there, in my opinion, if you're gonna have all this milk and sugar with the milk carafe and Let's the hot the chocolate carafe, yeah, it better, it better be rinsing it. But with all that being said, you still really have to pay attention to cleaning with this machine. You do. Um, Although it does more automatic cleaning than some of them. So that's it, true. That's, nice. that's true. What do you um, say? You want to do a, um, a cappuccino? Yeah, let's just do a cappuccino. Does that that's work great. for you? Yeah. That sounds good. Got it ready here. I put the milk in there, so it's all ready, and we got it all. We have it on the the medium froth. I want it up to the foamy. Okay, there we go. Gail oh. likes it foamy. That's good to know. I do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So let's. If there's anything else on here that I can think of, I mean, I, it is kind of a big footprint. Um, but well, you, you know, with most super automatic machines, this is going to be your ballpark. You know, um, so that is one thing to consider. Let's say you're getting too much milk. Mm -hmm. I can stop that, and now yeah. we'll go on to the grinding. Yep. Exactly. Grinder's not too bad as far as noise goes. Yep. Yeah, that's true. You can always interrupt something that's customized mm -hmm. on this machine yep. if you just feel like something different that day. Yeah, you just hit the stop button. And it gives you all the default ones up here that you can push to. Um, you know, while this is making the drink, we also got to talk about um, how important programming your water hardness is oh, on yeah. this machine. Yep. Um, in the user manual, they make it very clear that the first thing you should do when you purchase this machine is take the pH strip that's provided with the machine and test your water mm -hmm. source to see how hard your water is. Um, and that's very important because there, there's nothing inside the boiler measuring scale. That, that's no. not what's happening here. All that's happening is the machine is memorizing the number of shots that have been taken in, a, you know, in relation to how hard your water is. And I would say that's one of the things that uh, we notice with super automatics is people are having issues. And really, most of the time, it's maintenance. They haven't done their proper maintenance. Exactly. So when you're... Look when, at that. Oh, that does look really good. Does that look good, huh? That does. Wow. That's... Go ahead that's, and taste it. That's picture perfect. Yeah. So now, clean. Let's put this under here. That's good, Gail. So it says clean on the top here, so not bad, huh? That's almost better than when you make it yourself. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, for the record. Okay, automatically shuts take, off. I'm going to take another sip. Yeah. So uh, there's the uh, That's good. Prima Donna exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can take this, you're done, put it in the fridge. Exactly. Although it's thermo, it's supposed to keep it for a numerous number of hours, but... I'd say all in all, um, you know, if you're looking at this machine, things to consider would be, are, are you the type of person that's going to exploit uh, the software on this machine? Because that's really what's so great about it. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you going to take the time to get different users on there? Do you have a household with a lot of people that would be using this machine? And hot chocolate. And that's, hot chocolate, exactly. That's a pro. Yeah. I mean... 
there are so many people that their kids want to make milk, and this does the chocolate and the whole thing with it. So mm -hmm. that's a mm -hmm. that's a pro I would say for this machine. Anything else? It's we just got to point out. Yeah, I don't think so. I think oh. we went over the whole thing here. 1340 watts, so you can run on a 15 amp service. So I think you can put it in most households. You don't have to have any special service. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, Brendan. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Gail. Yeah, good to see you again. I'm going to have some more of this cappuccino here. You got it. <laughs>